Your Gaming YT here, and welcome to episode 11 of the FIFA 14 New Arsenal Career Mode. And to start this off, I just want to say that I will be playing like the big games now: United, Chelsea, City, Liverpool, Tottenham, and simming the other games. And when it comes to Champions League, I'll be simming the first four um, games of the group stage. Maybe play the last one or two in case we need to and yeah uh, so start off this episode we've got an international management offer from Mexico which I do reject because I'm not interested in the international side of career mode and Bacardi wants to know if I'll be rotating the squad for the next game which <laughs> uh, if I'm honest I don't uh, so before the QPR game I just check to see make sure everyone is fit and ready and they are so we will, we will sim this away game against QPR at Loftus Road and hopefully we can get a victory and we do we win by two goals to one Miss Urza and Santa Cazola getting our goals Nico Cranchar for them uh, Vermont unfortunately got injured in that game which is a bit of a shame but we do have a press conference to do it is against Siske Moskva in the first game of the Champions Cup and Thomas Vermont is out for four weeks with a pulled quad which is a bit of a shame so we'll just sim our way to the game against Siske Moskva. And I just quickly check and I just quickly go into squad management just to uh, take out Thomas Fumano because of his injury. And I believe I put in Lauren Cassioni. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, I put in Lauren Cassioni as Fumano lives out for the next month or so with that injury so Odeverald and Oncasioni will be the sent back partnership and yeah <laughs> sorry guys I was just taking a drink there <coughs> uh, so we will see this game against CSK Moskva hopefully we can pick up a victory to start off our Champions League campaign Champions Cup campaign sorry and we do we win by four goals to one. Older Verald, Laurent Cassioni, Mesut Ozil and Santa Casola got our goals. And Zuba for them, I don't know his first name so I'm not going to bother saying. Uh, Abu Dhabi was just saying that he was a little bit concerned about his playing time. Um, I do wish I could play him more because I do like him. He's a really good player but you know we've got Gundawan, we've got Casola, uh, Ozil, Ramsey, Wilshere. Gondowan, Verratti, I think I said Gondowan twice. <laughs> oh well. So I'll go to squad management here and I take out Mess Ozil and Sancho Cazorla because they were a little bit tired and I don't want to risk them pick up an injury. So I put in Jack Wilshere and Antoine Griezmann to start the game against Watford, I believe. And I was doing a little bit of comparison you know, between Ramsey and Verratti and Wilshere and Verratti. I thought, you know, I'm quite happy with the uh, two I've got at the moment in Wilshire and Ramsey. So yeah, we will see the game against Watford. Hopefully we can keep up our good start to the season with another victory over Watford. Hopefully we can do that. I think Armonia returns, but he may have retired this season. Uh, unfortunately, Sony gets injured in like the first minute. But we win by four goals to nil. Antoine Griezmann got two. Jovetic and Gundogan got the other goals so you know it's a good victory for the Gunners and hopefully we can keep up our um, run and Cristiano is out for 7 days with a pulled hip flexor which got which is probably something to do with the hip but I do not know I'm not a uh, doctor <laughs> and so for this uh, Capital One Cup game against Bristol City I do indeed like switch up the squad and I put in Ospina, Jenkinson uh, per Matsaka, Johan Juru, Nacho Monreal, Marco Verratti, uh, Zakaria Bacali, Nacho Flamini, but then you see I switch out Verratti and Flamini. I also put in Abu Dhabi, Lucas Podolski, and Yaya Sonogo, I believe. Yep. And then I just wanted to quickly check to see. The bench, and obviously, Christian was injured, so I had to take him out. And I put in Mikel or Mikel, or however you pronounce his name. I think it's Mikel, I don't know. 
And then I thought maybe I'd put in Jack Wilshere, but I thought, you know, it's a strong enough bench why I'd put him in. I do like Wilshere, don't get me wrong, but um, when we've got such strong bench, we <laughs> there's not really room for him on, on there. So this is the Capital One Cup game against Bristol City. Hopefully we can pick up Richard to get through. And we do, Luke, we win by four goals to nil. Lucas Podolski gets all four goals. Absolutely incredible uh, game for him. Probably picked up man in the match as well. And we did a press conference where we motivate Arsenal uh, for the game against Everton. That's coming up by Goodson Park. And, up, and we get some emails in. Uh, we actually also, we also get an international management offer from Portugal, but I reject that. We get some money from the Capital One Cup, and Mr. Erzul sent me two emails saying that he wanted to play the game, and I was like, why would you send me two? <laughs> it's a little bit confusing, but you know, he's, um, he will be starting the game against Everton because it's their Premier League game. So Joe Hart will return to will return between uh, sticks. Mako Tabushi, Thomas Odeverold. I was contemplating. I was looking for Lohan Castellani, and then I saw him, and he was back from injury, so he is back. Kieran Gibbs comes in at left back, Gundawan, Alexis Sanchez, Jack Wilshire, Mesut Ozil, Sanka Kazola, and Stefan Jovic all return after that victory over Bristol City. Uh, Marco Verratti, I think, goes to the bench, along with Aaron Ramsey. Uh, so Flamini and Diaby are won't be on the bench, but Marco Verratti and Aaron Ramsey are. And we will see this game against Everton. We do, we played them, remember, just that weekend where we came from two goals down to get uh, a 2 2 draw, which was fantastic for us. And we do even better than in real life. We win by a goal to nil. Santi Cazorla getting the only goal of the game in that 1 0 victory. And now we've got a game against FC Basel in the Champions League. It is the second game. And we will motivate Arsenal in our usual press conference. And those will send me two emails again saying. Thank you for playing him in that game. I was like, why would you send me two? Stop it! <laughs> oh, I did. Uh, we also get an email from a senior physiotherapist saying that Thomas Marlon is coming back. He's not quite match fit, but he will return in, in the next like week or so. Really, I should have checked after this game how long he will be how when he'll be back. Uh, Kishoni was a little bit tired and I, was, I wanted to play Mertesacker but oh, he was also a little bit tired so Johan Juru comes into the team. Verratti and Griezmann also come in for Wilshire and I think it was Verratti. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't really remember. No, it was uh, Griezmann came in for Santa Cazorla. And then... Uh, we will send this game away to FC Basel. Hopefully, we can pick up a nice victory to really get our Champions Cup campaign underway. And we win by a goal to nil. Johan Juru again, the only goal of the game. Uh, Kieran Gibbs got sent off. Fabian Scher uh, missed a penalty and also got himself injured, which is a bit of a shame. So, yeah, hopefully, I've enjoyed this, lads. And if so, please leave a like, please subscribe as well. Uh, in the next episode, we will be playing the home game against Liverpool, so hopefully you guys can can join me for that. And yeah, like I said, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, peace, and bye.